Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is D, and lately I've been playing The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker on the Oculus Rift Development Kit 1. Today I will be playing a different Zelda game. This is one that I played about four months ago when the early alpha version of this of this demo came out. It is called the Zelda VR Beta, and what it is is a first-person recreation of the original 8-bit Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, the original beta, which you can see my playthrough here, um, about four months ago, was um, was just the first dungeon and a portion of the overworld. It was kind of a proof of concept. At this point, it's really been expanded. Um, I'll just read you what it says. So this has the entire overworld, except for the Lost Hills. I guess it was weird for them to do the maze thing. Uh, all grottos, all dungeons, for quest one only, so not second quest. All enemies and bosses, all items and weapons, and game saving, which is kind of important when you're playing a game that long. So, um, it's, it's a much more complete game, and there's a lot more to explore, and I think it's gotten to the point where I think I could do a complete playthrough of the original Legend of Zelda if from this third person, per from this uh, first person perspective, which I think will be a really fun thing to do. Um, I've also made some small modifications to the demo that allow me to play it at 2560-1600 resolution, which is what this video is in. Uh, you'll see this video is 1440p. And um, I had to modify it. It doesn't do that out of the box. It only runs at the native resolution of DK1 out of the box, which is 1280-800, which makes sense since I can't actually see the higher resolution on the Rift, but you guys can see it on your monitors. So I wanted to give you uh, that experience. Without further ado, Let's jump into Zelda VR Beta and get started on our quest. Alright, here I am in Zelda VR Beta 2.0. I've got my Xbox 360 controller, which I will be using to play. This is the main screen. This screen in front of me is taken directly from the original NES Zelda screen um, with the, the animated waterfall and everything. Over there is the story from the original NES Zelda. So, on the original game, like, you would wait for a while, and then this would scroll up, and then this would appear, and it would scroll through it. Here, we could just look left and right and see the whole thing. Many years ago, Prince Darkness, Ganon, stole one of the Triforce with power. Princess Zelda had one of the Triforce with wisdom. She divided it into eight units to hide it from Ganon before she was captured. Go find the eight units, Link, to save her. And that's the whole story. This is all the story we're ever going to get in this game. All the exposition. It is a... Uh, things were a lot more minimal back then. Okay, so the controls we're going to use. Um, left stick to move. Right stick to look around. As well as our headset. Oculus is misspelled there, as you can see. Our sword attack will be A. Our item will be B. The same mapping as the original NES controller. And start to start the game in pause and stuff. Oh, and we can toggle the music using the back button. I didn't know about that one. All right, we're good to go. So uh, I already tried it for a bit with this other account. I'm going to switch to this one. And we are off on our adventure. Oh, you stay away from me. I don't have any way to defend myself yet. Oh, do you? There's a tektite after me. I better get my hands on a sword. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Da da I got a sword. Bye, old man. He faded into nothingness. Okay. And I, I just love how all the textures here feel like they're literally the same textures as in the original game. Or very similar to them. Even the sword is pixelated, which is great. Just look at that. You can literally... Like, my sword is three pixels wide. And it's filling, like, half of my vision. This is ridiculous. Okay, okay. Um... And I, I love how you have a sense of scale here. Like, each of these blocks, like, in, in the original game, you could tell that Blink, Link was about the same height or the same size as a block, and that's how it feels here. It feels like I walk up to the block, and the block just goes a little bit, like, about the height of the top of my head. Like, if I'm doing like this, I feel like I would be hitting the top of the block. I also feel like I'm very short. Okay. Back in the overworld. So the entire overworld is here now. I can explore the whole thing as much as I want. 
Oh yeah, I love being able to shoot my sword. Here's the cool thing, if I just look around, I can actually shoot in the direction I look. Come on, there we go. It's hardly even fair, really, because the monsters can still only shoot um, in the direction of... Um, the monsters can only shoot north, north, south, east, or west, but I can shoot in any direction I feel like just by looking that way, which is pretty awesome. And it doesn't even seem fair to the monsters, but... Then again, the monsters can sneak up on me, which they could not do in the original game. I can't remember what these things are called. They, they come up out of the sand. Oh, I want those rupees. Give them to me. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The Zora is trying to... I don't have a shield that can block Zora shots. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'm full on health. Alright. Level 1. Let us enter. So, if I look up, it brings the part at the top into my... Like, if I'm normally looking like this, I can't really see what's going on up there except in my peripheral vision. But if I look up a little bit, I can see I have three hearts, I have my sword out, I have nine rupees, I can see where I am on the map. All that good stuff. I'm entering the dungeon. I don't really like how when you enter the dungeon, it... Um, it freezes the screen for a minute while it's loading it. That's a general no-no in VR. You don't ever want to freeze the screen so that you can't look around, even if you're loading or paused or whatever. Like, even when I'm paused here, I can still look around. That's actually good. So this is the dungeon subscreen. So there's, there's a weird, um, stereoscopy occlusion contrast going on here. So it looks like the subscreen is behind this block based on stereoscopy but it looks like it's in front of the block based on occlusion because it's drawn in front of it and that's one of one of the big issues of any kind of heads-up display in VR is you can always get these stereoscopy occlusion conflicts and so I'm gonna try and just use the subscreen when I'm not standing uh, right in front of a block like that to try and avoid that anyway so there's our map and we have no items yet to select when we walk between rooms, we just walk through these little dark areas. In the original Legend of Zelda, you couldn't really see what was happening when you walk between rooms. Um, there's a bug where if you leave the game and then you come back, the keys will actually respawn, so you can get infinite keys. So, I'm, I'm going to try to avoid getting the same key multiple times, because that's just cheating. Okay, I think I have two keys now. Oh, did I get the other key? No, I didn't. Alright. You afraid of me, Skeleton? Okay. And yeah, this the dungeon ceiling feels pretty high. It feels about 12 feet high, I want to say. Like, higher than a normal house ceiling, for sure. Like I said, these blocks feel like they're about as high as my head. And the doors feel quite high. This feels like a 10-foot doorway. Alright. I like how the torches are just these little floating fires there by the door. Everything in here is a, a 2D... Like, the walls are 3D, 3D textured objects. But all the monsters and the items and the little fire things, those are all billboards. So they always turn to face you. Uh, it reminds me a lot of how they did the South Park VR game, where they had all the characters being billboards, and they had the houses and stuff being 3D textured objects. I think this is an approach that's going to work well for a lot of games in VR. Um, the one weird thing about billboards is when you walk up to a key like this, the key starts to lean over the closer you get to it, just because it's a billboard that turns to face you. I think it would work a little better if they keep the vertical part always upright, but still have the horizontal part turn, turn to face you. So like the yaw adjust, but not the pitch. No, I lost half a heart. Damn you, Keith. Damn you. I got the compass now, so I can see the boss is that little red dot. Alright. Well, I got the compass. I don't have any bombs, otherwise I could take this shortcut here. 
No key's gonna get me this time. I don't actually have to kill these guys. I can just go ahead and open the door. But I'm bitter about keys after that last encounter. Oh, what are these little things called? Molas? I think they're called molas. Okay, let's try and open this door. Ah, pushing the block. There we go. Oh, hey! Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Good to know. Um, how do I get out of here? Am I, am I stuck? There's got to be a way out. Great. Well, at least I know that Eastmost Peninsula is the secret now. Can I not attack the old man? Because he locked me in here. Doesn't seem fair. Oh, this fire can't even hurt me. I can just stand right on it. Okay, well... Resume, toggle music, view controls, look sensitivity. Hmm. So I hit the back button to bring up that menu. I don't think I want to save and quit. I think I want to... Do I want to view controls? Will that help? I don't even know. Whoa! Okay, I'm back at the main menu now. Okay, let's try that again. Try to not get locked in a room this time. I'm sure there was some way out of that room I just didn't know about. Okay, let's go. I would like to go in there with full hearts, but I don't have full hearts. Oh! Fairy! 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 There we go. Okay. Okay, I actually can still move my head while it's loading. I just can't move my body. That's fine. Okay, I'm not going to get those keys I already got before. I still have one key left. See you later, skeletons. Oh, I already went this way. Okay. Stay away from me. Oh, it already hurt me, didn't it? Okay, okay. No, no, no. I want the heart. Ooh, stopwatch. Haha. <laughs> oh, another key. Nice. Did I already get that one? I don't even remember. Whatever. Ow! God damn it. Okay, I guess that door is open now. I want to at least finish this level in this video. I'm going to have to do this in multiple parts, because I don't think I can win this game in a single video. I'm not that pro at the original NES Zelda. Give me your key! Awesome. This water looks strangely flat. Like, it doesn't look like water at all. It just looks like blue. Like a blue carpet or something. All right. Got everything there is to get here. Oh, Garayas. Or are these Moblins? Is there a difference between Moblins and Garayas? Okay. Got the bombs. That's handy. And another key. There's a lot of keys in the first dungeon. Uh, the original Zelda was, I believe, the only one in which you could reuse keys in a dungeon other than the one they were found in, which lets you do some sequence breaking. It's very handy. Okay, traps. Ow! Let's get in here. So they changed how the uh, dungeon item areas work. In the original um, Zelda, the dungeon item areas were actually... Um, they were viewed from the side in profile, so you would climb down a ladder and then climb up a ladder and get the item. So they, they did that totally differently here. Now they've made it more like just a little room where you go and pick up the item. I got the bow! So I can actually choose which item I want now. 
And I believe in the original NES Zelda, um, each arrow costs one rupee. So your rupees are also your arrow supply. You don't purchase arrows. You just... Rupees are arrows. And run for it. Okay, so like if I... I have 24 rupees. If I shoot an arrow... Can I shoot an arrow, please? Okay, that's not working right now. That's weird. I pressed the B button. I didn't shoot any arrows. I don't know why. Whatever. I don't need arrows right now. Ow! Ow! I can't believe I'm getting killed by molas. Ooh, map. Yes, I can see all the rooms now. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going for the red dot. Oh, a heart, thank god. Ow! More bombs. Boomerang! Boomerang, yes! Boomerang is my favorite item. There we go. Can throw it in any direction I like. Can it go through blocks? Oh yeah, it can. Nice. Can I use my bow now? My bow does not seem to be working. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if I'm doing something wrong. But in any case, I have my boomerang, so I'm happy with that. I ain't got time for wall masters. Screw you guys. Oh shit. I wish I could throw my sword right now. Uh, this guy's two blocks tall. Ah! That was close. Okay. There we go. Four hearts. And... Triforce. My first Triforce piece. One down, seven to go. It does this nice fade to white thing when you finish a dungeon. Then you appear outside. I actually like the fade to white thing quite a lot. I'm not quite as fond of the uh, transition where it like makes the screen go black and like swings inside and then it opens back up again. I like I like the fade to white one a bit more. Whoop, Zola's. Ha! Huh. I can actually shoot my sword between screens, which is fun. Oh, almost got him. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. There we go. Oh, Zola. Okay, where do I go now? Do I go to level 2 or do I go to level 3? Notice how the pea hats actually fly up in the air? And the boulders actually roll down from the mountains? Ow! So there's they added some vertical elements to the original game that weren't really there. Uh, they also have the Tektites jump up in the air, like these guys. In the original game, the Tektites did jump, but they didn't jump up where you couldn't hit them with your sword. They would just jump across the screen. Okay, um, let me see if I remember where level 2 is. I know where level 3 is. I don't quite remember where level 2 is. Somewhere in this forest over here. Ow. So the overworld should be mostly the same. I don't believe they've made any changes to the game. Or at least they've tried not to. It's kind of cool how in this part you're just a bit taller than the blocks so you can actually see over them. Ow! I haven't tried using the bombs yet. Let's try and use a bomb. Yeah! Nice! And can I retrieve things with my boomerang? Is that not something you could do in the original Zelda? I thought it was. 
Well, it's not working anyway. Okay, I shouldn't be here by the sea. That's not where I want to be. This part probably has the worst frame rate of any part, but it's it's quite a good performance game. I'm running at 1440p right now, and I'm getting a pretty consistent 60 frames per second in almost every part of the game. So I'm impressed with that. The performance is pretty good. It helps a lot that it has a lot of these small closed environments, and of course that the textures are ridiculously low resolution. Which is a stylistic choice that they made. Obviously, they could have upgraded the textures a bit here. But they decided that they preferred to make it um, the same resolution as the original game. These statue guys are turning to face me. If I touch them, they turn to life, just like in the original. Okay, is this the way into level 2? This is just a shop over here. I ain't buying this stuff. 100 rupees for a key? I don't think so. I would like that shield, though. I don't have the rupees. I only have 34 rupees. Ah! All these guys at the door! And I can't get out! Oh, man! Okay. That was silly. Apparently, there was no way I could get past them. Oh, God! I fell through the world! <laughs> Okay, this game is still in beta, as you can see. Let's, um... Yeah, let's go back to the main menu. Do I still have my sword out at the main menu? This is so weird. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Oh god, it's still broken. Why is it still broken? No! No! Okay, I have no idea what's going on at this point. Does my other... All my save games are doing that at this point. Okay. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to have to save and quit and come back. There are some interesting bugs in this game. I will be right back. All right, we are back. Hopefully it will be a bit less buggy this time. All right, I'm not falling through the world this time. Alright, I'm going to try and just make it to the entrance to level 2. And once I get there, that will be enough for this episode. Octoroks! Octoroks are the original Zelda enemy that we all love. I think they're... Interestingly, I don't think all the Zelda games have had Octoroks. I know that Link to the Past had them, but I think they were only in the Dark World. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, got some more bombs. Oh, where is this entrance? I can't remember. Is it underneath these guys? I don't think so. Okay, there is a thing underneath this guy. It's a secret to every... Oh my gosh, 30 rupees. Hell yeah! That will come in handy. Okay, let's move. Let's move. No time to waste. Out of my way, tech tight. Is it over here? Oh god, I'm so lost. Okay, I gotta find the entrance to level 2. Where is it? It's gotta be somewhere around here. I think I went. I think I took a wrong turn. That's fine. Need to head back to the forest. It, I know it's in the forest. You guys who know this game well are probably just laughing at me at this point. All right, is it in here? I don't think it's in here. Okay, gotta keep looking, gotta keep looking. Ok, 
Okay, maybe it's over here? Oh, look, it's a little... Oh, I don't want to shop here. Okay. Got some bombs. Ow! I got shot by an arrow and died. I used to be an adventurer. Okay. One more try, one more try. Out of my way, Tektites. Ain't got time for you. Gotta find this level 2 entrance. Ow! Okay, I'm just going along the beach here. Okay, I'm losing too many hearts. Okay, I think this is the right direction. I think it's over here. Ow! Okay, you know what guys, I suck at this game. But next time when I come back, I'm gonna find the level 2 entrance. And we're gonna do level 2. And we're going to explore one of the new dungeons. That is all for today. Let me know any tips that you have for this game. Or let me know any other demos you want to see me play. We'll be playing more Legend of Zelda Wind Waker t uh, tomorrow. So it'll be uh, all Zelda all the time for a little while, except for the short demos. I will see you guys later, and everybody have a great every day.